The BBC is interrupting its normal programmes to bring you an important announcement. This is BBC News from London. Buckingham Palace has announced the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. In a statement, the palace said the Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. The King and the Queen Consort will remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow. BBC Television is broadcasting this special programme reporting the death of Her Majesty the Queen. And I'm afraid to say in the last few moments the following statement has been released. It reads, uh, I will find that statement for you. The Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. The King and the Queen Consort remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow. So let's take a moment to reflect on that news. Plus he's a man of God who's also an ex-drug dealer. Besides, he hung up his dog collar, probably afraid he was going to choke on it. Anyway, he's gone and forgiven Warren. His avenging angel act lasted about as long as his devotion to God. But just you wait until Warren finds out what his precious son tried to do to him. Hold on. This is Channel 4. We now join the Channel 4 News. Good evening. Buckingham Palace has announced the death of Queen Elizabeth II, the longest reigning monarch in British history. Her reign lasted for 70 years, from post-war austerity and the end of empire through the expansion of the Commonwealth. She helped preserve the institution of the monarchy during times of massive social change. At her coronation, the Queen repeated her pledge to serve her people and fulfilled it throughout her reign with a combination of skill and a sense of duty. In a statement, Buckingham Palace said, the Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. The King and the Queen Consort will remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow. <laughs> 